Hi there. In our last session, we had seen about the Arduino board, what are its spins and how we can have a bare bone program for Arduino. So let's continue the same discussion and let's try to write down our first program for Arduino in this session. Let's begin. So as we have seen, Arduino Uno has got 0 to 13, a total of 14 pins on this side and A0 to A5, a total of 6 pins on this side. All in all, we have total 20 pins which can be used as digital I.O. or digital input as well as output. Plus, A0 to A5 are the pins which you can also use as analog input. So, all 20 of them can be used as digital I.O. and these 6 pins can be used as analog inputs. Now, the very first program we usually do with any embedded system study or any microcontroller is we connect an LED to a particular pin of the microcontroller and then we try to make it on and off, which is also called as the hello world program of embedded system, which is LED blinking. So we'll do the LED blinking program now for Arduino. <coughs> Let's begin. So this was the bare minimum code we had seen. We also discussed class in last session that void setup and void loop are the two main bodies where the program for Arduino is written and the only code that is needed to be executed only once is to be written in setup and the code that is needed to be written repeatedly is to be written in void loop. Now consider that I have an LED connected to a pin, let's say pin number 13 on Arduino. So that LED will be connected to pin number 13 through a register to the ground. That's how you can connect an LED to pin number 13. And if we have to make this particular LED go high, low, high, low, or simply blink this LED, then what should be our program? Let's look at this code. What is the first line of this code? Int LED is equal to 13. Means we have declared an integer whose name is LED. The value is 13. That's about it. Void setup. What we have written in void setup? Pin mode, LED comma output. Void loop, digital write, LED comma high, delay thousand, digital write, LED comma low, delay thousand. Now tell me, in order to make some guess out of what this program is doing, is it needed that you should be from technical background or you should be an engineer or you should be a science student? Not at all. Why? Because things are very simple, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Pin mode LED comma output. We'll simply do what? We'll make this particular pin's mode set to output. What is that pin LED? 13. And that's about it. That's the only line in setup. What we write down in loop? Digital write LED comma high. Means digital value should be written on this particular pin. What is that value? High. Delay 1000. Digital write LED comma low. Delay 1000. So, digital write high would be written and then a delay of 1000 units will be taken. Then low value will be written and then again a delay of 1000 units will be written. We don't know the units as of now. So, let's understand that this units is nothing but micro milliseconds. So, 1000 millisecond after making the LED high and 1000 millisecond after making a LED low. Now, we don't know what is high and low actually. <coughs> Keep in mind, Arduino works on plus 5 volt operating supply. So either you give it from USB or you give it from DC jack. The whole operation, the microcontroller works on plus 5 volt. And that's why when you write down high or logic high onto any pin, then plus 5 volt appears onto that pin. And when you write low, then 0 volt or ground potential appears onto that pin. What this program will then do is this line will make the LED go high or LED will turn on after execution of this line. Then the controller will wait for one second and then the next line will make the LED go low or simply turn off the LED and again wait for one second. But after that, the code is written in loop. So after the last line is executed, again the first line of this loop will be executed. How long this will continue? Forever. This is an infinite loop and 
after execution of this code this infinite loop will execute forever making the led go on off on off after every second so that's about it that's the getting started or the first blinking program of Arduino and I'm pretty sure that there is no technical knowledge required to understand this much amount of code. In the next video, we'll see how we can actually write down this program on Arduino software and then we'll try to download that onto the Arduino board. So I have an Arduino board over here. If you can have a look, may not be that clearly visible, but yeah, I have an Arduino board on which we are going to perform our experimentation. So. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. In the next video, we'll install the Arduino software and do this program to download onto our microcontroller. Thank you.